why there's any unemployment in this country when you think of all the weird jobs that are out there that you see advertised. I have decided if you don't have a job, it's because you had some unemployable college major. Like there's this kid at the end of my block. I said, hey Grant, how's the job search going? He goes, horrible. You know, I graduated a year ago, June. I still don't have a job. I go, that is horrible. What'd you major in? Medieval history. <laughs> really? <laughs> no one's hiring in that field, huh? <laughs> Have you sent resumes to all the knights of the round table? <laughs> Tell you what, I'm friends on LinkedIn with Sir Lancelot. Let me hook you two up. <laughs> I think the only thing that's worse than the one stupid college major is the two stupid college majors, the double major. There's this girl that works in my health club. I said, what'd you major in? She goes, oh, I was a double major. Philosophy and Italian studies. Great. Yeah, you'll be the deepest thinking waitress at the Olive Garden now, won't you? <laughs> So colleges are starting to open back up for about, what, 15 minutes or so, right? Yeah, yeah, every college is like, hey, did that tuition check clear? Okay, close the dorms, we're going virtual. <laughs> Apparently that struck a nerve among the BYU students, huh? Yeah, I hope colleges stay open because that's, I mentioned I was at BYU yesterday. That's the thing I like to do when I'm on the road. I like to tour college campuses. And I'll admit, you do get a few weird looks when you're a middle-aged man touring a college campus all by yourself. You know, the tour always starts out the same way. The perky freshman comes out. Hey, we're about to start the tour. Where's everybody from? San Francisco, great. Nebraska, oh, my cousin lives in Omaha. <laughs> How about you, creepy guy in the back with no kids? <laughs> Like, hey, I'm an architecture buff, all right? I understand this school was built in the classic neo-Gothic style, particularly the sorority quads. Perhaps we could start there. <laughs> My favorite thing on college tours, every college tour has this. They always want to tell you who the most famous alum was. And depending on how old the school is, the answers can get really weird. Like, my oldest daughter, when she was looking at colleges, we toured Columbia, not the one in New York, the one in Missouri. So on the tour, the tour guide goes, hey, you wanna know who went to school here? Brad Pitt lived right over there. And I'm not kidding, everybody on the tour took out their phones and took a picture of the dorm. Like a hungover Brad Pitt is gonna walk out at any second. Like, yeah, yeah, I was a couple of credit hours short, I just came back to get my degree in between making Ocean's Eleven sequels. <laughs> So that was the older one. Now the younger daughter, we toured William and Mary in Virginia, second oldest school in the country, chartered in 1693. So we're on the tour, the tour guide goes, hey, you wanna know who went to school here? <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> lived right over there. <laughs> they actually pointed out Thomas Jefferson's dorm. I said to my daughter, I said, if you go to school here, don't pick that dorm. I'll bet the Wi-Fi sucks. <laughs> and some of these schools, these really old schools, they haven't upgraded the furniture since they opened. We went to Princeton, third oldest school in the country. So we're in, we're in this big castle-like building and we're all sitting at this humongously long table made out of mahogany with these high-backed wooden chairs we go outside, my daughter goes, what you think? I said, I think you'll be very happy at Hogwarts. <laughs> what time is the parent-student Quidditch game? 